Hi, I'm Larry Bridge. I'm going to take you uh, on a house tour today. So before we start the tour, though, I'm going to get into some of the design consideration and uh, design elements and other choices we made uh, while building our home. So the house is located in the village of Empire. That is in the northwest corner of the lower peninsula of the state of Michigan. So it is cold, a cold climate. It's climate zone six. Uh, the home was built uh, in 2024 and finished in December of this past year. Uh, a major focus uh, for us was uh, and to Energy Star certify the home, which we did achieve, Energy Star certification. Uh, once we got that, we had uh, we also received Green Star uh, home certification to the silver level for new construction, zero energy ready certification, as well as the indoor air plus certification. And then our overall HERS index uh, score was 14, that is with solar. So pre-solar, we're about a 39. And uh, to achieve Energy Star certification, you need 40 or better. Village of Empire does uh, split the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore in half. If you've ever been here, this is where the National Park Office is. So there are a lot of bike trails, hiking trails uh, in the area, beautiful inland lakes. A lot of nice beaches on Lake Michigan, as well as massive sand dunes. The area is known for cherry crop, a lot of local vineyards, distilleries, breweries, and uh, some very good local food. So uh, the design considerations. So I mentioned Energy Star certification that drove a lot of material choices, uh, as well as in, uh, financial choices that we made. Uh, however, we do have a narrow lot. So this was laid out uh, to the original village plan. So they're 55 foot yacht, uh, lots with 10 foot setbacks. Uh, one advantage, however, uh, to make this work was that we do have a shared septic field. Uh, so the only thing we had to put actually on our lot was the uh, septic tank. Otherwise, there's some green space in the neighborhood that is actually drainage fields. Then there were also some neighborhood uh, historical design recommendations. The homes uh, sh should be built uh, and designed to look like they're built in the 1920s, 30s, steeper roof pitches, front porches, uh, and a few other design elements. And then we were focused on building an all electric home. And that was primarily driven for indoor air quality. So we don't have any combustibles uh, in the home. To achieve that, uh, kind of all of these kind of uh, guidelines, and uh, restrictions that we had. Uh, we wanted to build a reasonably sized home, put a major focus on insulation, uh, air sealing the home. So we do have a very tight home, uh, near passive house level, 0.68 uh, air changes per hour. And then, uh, but then to, uh, we also needed with a tight home to address indoor air quality. And we did that with a ducted uh, energy recovered ventilation unit. And then uh, working with our builder and what would be their kind of normal model. So this was not what we built wasn't too far off what they normally build. Uh, this is Endura Performance Homes. Uh, we made a lot of choices on what were locally available materials, what were the contractors familiar with, what were the, was the labor uh, familiar with as well. So this was the inspiration. This is the Argyle. It is a Sears home plan from the 1920s. And uh, this was, that's what we kind of based our design on. And then this is the schematic from the, uh, the actual construction drawing. So 1,300 square foot first floor cottage, two bedroom, two bath, 900 square feet uh, finished basement with an additional bedroom bath and recreation area. And then the enclosed square footage is 2,600 square foot. So then in the end, we ended up with a three bedroom, three bath home. So you can see some of those design elements, narrow lot, um, some of the finishes, the features on the gable and the front porch, again, kind of harken back to those early 1900s. And in the solar array, we do have 12 400 watt panels, uh, pretty much southern orientation. So the house is sited very well for solar. And then uh, roof pitch is pretty good, 812 roof pitch. And then we also have a Tesla Powerwall 3, which uh, this, this product includes uh, an inverter built in. Uh, but more important, it has 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous output. Uh, so that would accommodate uh, using a heat pump for heating and cooling and uh, keeping it using uh, the backup battery uh, for heating uh, and cooling. Uh, again, kind of for resiliency backup instead of in place of a generator. So let's take the tour. So it is two by six construction with blown in fiberglass insulation is spider insulation is the product. We also have uh, R6 continuous insulation on the exterior of the 2x6 construction, that is ZIP R6. 
These are uh, double pane casement windows. It is the Marmon Elevate, Elevate series. And then it is a uh, vented attic. So we have a raised heel truss, our 60 cellulose insulation blown in. So very conventional. The foundation is a modular foundation, superior walls. So that comes in uh, pre-insulated and uh, that's manufactured in the US. And you can see in this video, uh, while it's a sunny day, uh, it, it does show the uh, some of the shading we do have on the southern side of the home. Uh, so in, in December, January, January, February, we do get some shading midday with the uh, the low winter sun. Um, but however, the, the panels are coated with a nano uh, technology. So even though we do get significant snow load, uh, that generally uh, kind of slides off after uh, 24, 36 hours. So this video was shot April 4th, 2024. Uh, very cold morning or cold morning, 27 uh, Fahrenheit, high in the, in the low 40s. And uh, you can see from this that we, we got about 59% from solar, combination of solar and the battery which means it's pretty much coming from solar. Mechanical systems, we have a Mitsubishi heat pump. So this is their cold climate unit, hyper, hyper heat unit. And then the uh, indoor unit is uh, a Mitsubishi air handler. So conventional air handler, ducted conventionally. It does have a uh, whole house humidifier. So again, nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, good filter box or run a MERV 11. And then it also uh, has a... Uh, electric resistant heater as part of the air handling unit uh, in case we do exceed the design conditions uh, for the unit, which go down to about minus 13. We still have a, a pretty good COP down to my, about minus 13. And then we also included a whole house dehumidifier because even though it is climate zone six, it's a humid climate. Otherwise, you can see it as a conventionally ducted unit, which the contractors love. The energy recovery ventilation system is a Renew Air, uh, pretty common in this area. Uh, the one thing that we did that is was not common was to duct it. So there, all of the returns to the ERV come from the bathrooms uh, and the laundry room. So we pull that stale, moist air out, recover the energy, recover some of the moisture, and uh, bring in fresh air. So it is balanced ventilation. And that also eliminated the direct vent uh, bathroom fans. So you get rid of those holes. Um, homes are so tight today. I'm not sure those fans are actually doing any more than making noise. So again, very balanced ventilation, very important to uh, making this use, uh, making this work and bring in fresh air. Heat pump water heater. It's a ream 50 gallon off the shelf unit, whole house water filter, which is primarily servicing the kitchen. So for drinking water, cooking appliances, uh, we do have village water, so we have good water source. We're not running uh, a water softener, uh, so this filter is uh, relatively limited in use to what we're consuming and cooking with. Tesla Powerwall, this does have the built-in inverter, uh, kind of the brains of the system. And then we also have a uh, whole house water shutoff, automatic shutoff uh, that is uh, works with uh, water sensors in each of the bathrooms and uh, near the water heater and laundry room. So that'll, that'll shut it off. That just clamps onto a ball valve. Great product. Bulldog. I think it's Echo Core. I think it's the, the manufacturer. Uh, again, you can order through their website or through Amazon and it's homeowner installed. Very easy. Appliances. We do have a induction cooktop, which works great. A lot of, a lot of temperature control. It also reduces though, a lot of the heat uh, and of course, you just don't have gas fumes, et cetera. So that minimizes the exhaust size. Although for the kitchen exhaust, we did include, because the home is so tight, we did include a makeup air damper, just a mechanical damper. So we can keep somewhat uh, balanced ventilation uh, in the house, make sure that's working. And then uh, the other unique appliance we have, we do have a condensing dryer. This is the Bosch 500 series. Um, you might see it marketed as a heat pump dryer. This one's actually condensing dryer. And uh, new, this unit's a little newer to the U.S., I believe. The reviews I found were from um, outside the U.S. So far, it's worked very well, but that is a bigger leap of faith. It does not require uh, ducting. Um, so you, you keep some of that heat in the house, some of that moisture in the house in the wintertime. And uh, so far, it's worked very well, but it is more work. Uh, it is a little more strain on the family. And uh, that's, a, that's a, a leap of faith. So that was the tour. I'm going to cover a few of the design elements um, 
to finish up. So uh, if anyone wants to grab some screenshots, otherwise that uh, concludes the tour. And uh, the project team uh, builder was Endura Performance Homes out of Traverse City, kind of a leader in the area on, on energy efficient homes. Energy Raider was Crane Energy Solutions, solar company, CBS Solar, uh, get local company, and then the designers, Bill Anderson. And then these were the design specifications I talked through on the tour. And then I'm going to share the uh, design specifications that um, we put into uh, into the actual construction drawings as well. And I'll try and turn off my video so you can uh, you can get a shot of that. And um, yeah, so uh, here's kind of a screenshot if you want to grab that. And if you need to, if you're interested in building an all electric home in cold climate, achieving energy star, uh, et cetera, this is, uh, these are some of the design elements that could help you achieve that and uh, prepare you for a solar installation as well. Okay. So if you do have questions, my name is Larry Bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E. You can find me on LinkedIn and hit me up in Messenger. So I might show up in Cincinnati and not Northern Michigan. That is me, the one in Cincinnati. Again, it's Larry Bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E. And uh, thank you for uh, attending the tour. And uh, hopefully I hear from some of you. Thank you.